In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate self-signed certificate. We're going to generate CA certificate, which is the certificate authority. And also we're going to generate the certificate for our server. Later on, I will in the next video, I'll show you how to run it with uh, Nginx inside the Docker container. And this is just a little small demo. So here I have my certificate that I generated. And let me show you. And also, well, you can see that it's it's a valid certificate. And here under details, you can see that we have the common name, which is um, my website, developed by example.io. And I'm using wildcard here, but actually in this field is depreciated. And the most important part of the certificate, which is the have to match with your DNS is the uh, subject alternative name. So here you have to include all your DNS names for for your main domain and subdomains as well. So here I have the uh, devos by example.io and www subdomain. And you can see that this particular certificate was issued by my own uh, CA uh, certificate authority and uh, well, in that browser, for example, also I want to give you an example of that. So here, the certificate under under the common name, you have the wildcard. And for example, here in YouTube, if you take a look on the certificate that they're using under the certificate, and let's expand this. And you can find that they have the common name for this certificate is the uh, wildcard google.com for youtube.com but uh, if you scroll down you're gonna find that they have the, a lot of different uh, alternative names here defined and one of them will be youtube.com let me find it yeah that's the one all right and in this video we're gonna be uh, using a uh, one tool uh, called cf ccl and I learned about that tool from this particular project, Kubernetes, the hard way. Um, they using that tool to generate uh, certificates for the Kubernetes components, for the master plane uh, and for the uh, workers as well. In order to install that tool, we're gonna download the binaries and we're gonna move them to our path. So let's go to the tags section and that's the latest version right now. And let's scroll down and we need two tools, two binaries from here. We need CFTCL and that's the Darwin, that's for uh, Mac. And if you're on Linux, that's the one you're gonna use or for Windows, for example. And also this is the first one you need to download. And then you also need to download uh, CFSSL JSON. Those two tools that we're gonna be using. And the same thing for, this is for Mac, Linux, and Windows. And I'm gonna be using the, I'm gonna download them from the terminal, from using curl. Okay, let me go to the terminal and let me run the first one. And that's the curl. And this will just follow all the redirects. And this is the name of the binary. And this path comes from exactly from here. So this is the first one from the, SF SSL, you can get it by using, you can uh, do right click and then copy the um, link address. All right, let me download the first tool. And let's do, let's download the second one right away. So it's gonna be CF SSL JSON. All right, now we have them in our folder and we need to, first of all, we need to make them executable. And let's use chmod command and plus six will make them executable. And also we need to move them on our path. So let's just, let me show you. You can run the echo and then this is the environment variable and you can find your path. For example, I'm gonna put these two tools inside uh, that folder. And let me do that. I'm gonna use sudo move command and then uh, the first binary, the second binary. And I need to enter my password. All right, now we can check the versions of those tools. So just to verify that we can access them. All right, so it's this one works and let's do the second one as well. 
Okay, so both of them working just fine. And like I said, optionally, you can use the package manager on Mac, you can use the homebrew and run homebrew, well, brew install and then CFSSL, and it will install both of them, this one and that one as well. So you just need to run uh, this command. All right, and uh, now let's go ahead and generate, well, we're gonna start with uh, generating the certificate authority, the CA that we will be using to sign our certificates. Okay, the first one, let's define the config. Let's go to the uh, text editor and let's create the first file, which we're gonna call caconfig.json. All right, so that's gonna be our config. And first of all, we're gonna say signing and those uh, default parameters. So it's gonna be uh, default. So those uh, certificates that we're gonna generate and sign, they will be valid for one year. And this is just default uh, option for that. And also we can say default, define the default option, which is one year. And also we can create profiles. And this is specific for the tool CF CCL. So we also gonna create the well profile. Well, it's optional, but we can create the profile and this is arbitrary name that we can give DevOps and then just usage, some information, how those certificates will be used. And this is TTL when they will be expired one year from generating, from creating the certificate. All right, so the, that's the first part. The, the second part, we need to uh, create the uh, certificate signing request for CA itself. So it's going to be a self-signed certificate, obviously. Let's create a JSON file. Now let me paste the config. All right, so it's going to be the first con config. Uh, that's going to be the first cer certificate signing request. Uh, CN, which is the common name for CA, we can give our organization name. I'm going to say DevOps by example. Then the information about the key, the private key, it's gonna be RSA and that's the, the size of that key. And also we're gonna give some subject uh, parameters like this is the C stands for country, then this is for locality, this is uh, where I live, San Jose, and then O stands for organization, this is organization unit, which is maybe dev developer, and this is for the state. So that's gonna be the definition for our signing uh, certificate signing request. All right, and now, well, let's go ahead and generate our CA. Let's go to the terminal and run the following command, cfssl, then gen uh, certificate. This will stands that it's gonna be a self-signed CA certificate. And this is the request that we just defined here in the file. That's the one request. And then we're gonna convert the JSON output from this command and write to the disk. Let me write it. And now we have the certificate. Let me see. So we have the, uh, the private key for that certificate, which is used for authorization and also for uh, decrypting. So the public key is used to encrypt your message and the private key is used to decrypt the message. Also, well, we have the the signing request and the certificate itself. So it's encoded version of that certificate, ca.pm. And we can use uh, optionally, we can decode this. We can use open a cell command and decode that uh, certificate. Let's go back to the terminal and run open a cell. This is the standard for those certificates. That's the, we're gonna specify the certificate that we want to decode and let's run it. That's decoded version of that certificate. So this is, you can find the information about the issuer and that's gonna be valid for five years the, because it's a CA and well, some subject names that we gave it and also well, some other information about this uh, CA certificate. And CA is true. All right, so this is our certificate authority. Now let's go ahead and generate the certificate for our server. 
let's create a new file devolves by example uh, dash uh, cr.json uh, and let me paste the content so the first one will be the common name and like I said this uh, field already depreciated so you have to match with the subject alternative names so those subject names comes here so uh, you can give any name like test or your organization name at this point it doesn't matter most browsers will just use uh, those alternative names to match with the DNS so those two parts have to match then pretty much the same parameters the uh, information about the key private key and then the names like exactly same as for uh, for CA itself all right so that's the request and now we can generate our uh, certificate for our server and we're gonna use the following command cfsl gen uh, cert and and we're gonna provide the path for our CA then the path for the key that was used to generate the CA and then this is the config and then from that config we're going to use this profile devops that we just defined there so from this config and this the that's the profile all right so and then we're going to say that we're going to use this file uh, certificate request to generate the file the certificate and then uh, write it to the disk all right so now we have the the private key for that certificate and this is the the certificate that we're going to be using in the next video with our nginx and well also we can decode this using opensl let's go back to the terminal and let's run this command the same command but we're going to provide the different file name and here you can see that we have the issuer and this is the well information about the issuer then we have the the common name which is um, well the reason why uh, this field was depreciated because it only allows you to use uh, one single volume and um, that's why was introduced uh, in another field uh, which is called uh, subject alternative name and here you can f see that uh, DNS uh, you need to match those two well th those DNS records must match your DNS otherwise the certificate is not going to be valid so that's the, the most important part for the certificate all right that that's it for this video thank you and in the next video i'm gonna show you how to run the uh, and how to use this uh, certificate in nginx and also we're gonna run it as a docker container in AWS. thank you for watching bye